Hello guys, many people are coming to Ukraine for their personal reasons, so I'm not telling you this video come come to explore Ukraine as a tourist. If you need to travel to Ukraine, you know why you need to come family, friends, study, work, etc. In this video, I just want to focus how physically and practically you can reach Ukraine. What are the options? Because I see that many people are not aware of all the options. So I just want to describe you everything and hope this video will be helpful for you. Let's start. A little reminder, borders to Ukraine are open and it was always open even since the war started. No extra documents, no extra permission uh, required to enter Ukraine. So it's all as it used to be before. Okay, so let's talk about options. Most of the people, they know that you can travel to Poland and this is the only way they know. And yes, Poland is big, it has a lot of options, but it depends to where you want to travel to Ukraine specifically. And once you know where you need to reach, then you you can choose the best strategy for yourself. So let's start from Poland. Poland has a couple of options. Option number one is to fly to Warsaw and from Warsaw you can take a direct train to Kiev. There are actually two trains uh, to Kiev um, which you can take somehow from Warsaw, one exactly from Warsaw, one from Helm. This is another city in um, uh, Poland and this train is not stopping anywhere in Ukraine besides Kiev. So it will have a couple of stops in Polish uh, side but since it will cross the border it will head directly to Kiev. So if you need to go out somewhere in the West Ukraine this is probably not your option. Also from Warsaw you can take direct uh, bus to uh, Lviv for example it's in case if you need somewhere on the western part of Ukraine because once you will reach to Lviv then you can go anywhere else by train or stay in Lviv by itself if this is your final target. Okay so this was about Warsaw now let's go there is another city in Poland Krakow. So from Krakow you have a couple of options. Option one is just take bus and go ahead Lviv. Another option which so many of Ukrainians really using is take another train from Krakow to Przemysl. This is a city exactly on the border of, with Ukraine and there you exchange the train and you will have train to Kiev. And this this train to Kiev it's nice big intercity fast train and it will have a lot of stops on the way. Uh, and the third city in um, uh, Poland which you can use for you to fly to it's uh, Rzeszów how they call it and from this city it's actually 171 kilometer away from Lviv so usually people take um, a bus from there and just drive a couple of hours and they reach in Lviv and from Lviv they can go and do whatever they want also some people they take a taxi to the border they cross border by walking because it's very fast and then exactly from the next site you will have also plenty of buses which can take you to any city you need. So this is three cities in Poland which you can use to fly to. Okay, we finished with Poland, let's go to the next country, Austria. If you will go to Austria, in Vienna specifically, once you will fly to Vienna, from Vienna there is direct train to Kiev, so just Vienna. Kiev and you don't need any of these uh, different different uh, movements and so on and this is pretty uh, convenient. The, the only inconvenient thing that this train is taking 27 hours to reach Kiev. So it's pretty long drive, not for everybody. And But there is such opportunity so if you feel that this is what is good for you then take and go this option. This is one of the options as well available. Next country is Slovakia. So Slovakia actually has two airports or maybe they have more but this is two that we are talking about. One airport is in Košice. This is a small city very close to Ukrainian border with Užhorod and uh, this is about 90 kilometers only to the border so you can actually fly to Košice then take a bus. Buses price is usually 15-20 euro per trip and they will bring you directly to Užhorod. So this is pretty convenient especially if you need that part of Ukraine or you are targeting to go to Carpathian mountains. This is 
very great choice. Another option is actually fly to Bratislava, which is also the capital of Slovakia. And from Bratislava, take a bus to Užhorod. It's a bit longer drive. And uh, uh, actually, Košice is much more convenient. But in case that your airlines or you will not have options to fly to Košice, then maybe it would be easier for you to fly to find the flights to Bratislava. Next option, Romania. Romania has also two main airports that Ukrainians are using, one in their uh, capital in Bucharest, but it's not really convenient. Another one which I feel that Ukrainians are feeling it uh, to the maximum, this is airport in city Suchava. And uh, this airport is something like 80 kilometers to Ukrainian border with Chernivtsi. So if you are a student from Chernivtsi, I guess this would be probably the best uh, way for you to go and since you arrive to the Suchava there is always uh, Ukrainian um, drivers waiting to bring you exactly from airport to the border at least or most likely this is to bring to Chernivtsi to the main city from where you can take a bus or train to any other destination whatever you want to reach. Uh, also there is option to travel from Bucharest to Odessa if somebody is traveling to Odessa and you need this part of Ukraine, then you can also use train, uh, you can use bus from Bucharest. And the last option is Moldova. You can fly to their capital, Chinzau. I can know, I'm not sure how is it pronounced. I just know Ukrainian way, Kishinev. Anyway, you can fly to their capital and also from their capital, there are plenty of buses to Odessa or to other parts of Ukraine. So depends where you, you want to go, but I guess it's only if you probably need to go to Odessa, you can fly to Moldova. Otherwise, I guess all other options are more convenient. So that's guys, uh, the whole picture which we have nowadays. Also, I want to say that Ukrainians always go in these ways and traveling to Ukraine and back. All Ukrainians who are living abroad, they always go in here and back, here and back. And um, for that, there is already all kind of um, infrastructure or you can say services set up for these people. It's not that you arrive to some airport in Romania, for example, in the middle of night and you don't know what to do, everything closed and there is nobody. No, there are so many people knowing that there is flight coming and these people are coming most likely to Ukraine. So there will be already a lot of buses, a lot of um, uh, taxis waiting for people to take them exactly from airport and bring to Ukraine. Same with airport from Rzeszów, same from all these small airports that I probably believe nobody was using it before and now they got heavy duty usage exactly due to such situation uh, with the Ukrainian no-fly zone. So if you travel to Ukraine, please write me your experience. I guess it would be very helpful for the rest of the guys who would be reading the comments. And if you know more ways how you can reach Ukraine, please also share in the comments. I guess it would be also very helpful to some guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it was useful. Bye bye.